welcome at this video about an amazing attacking game in 5x6 chess and i think you will learn a lot of attacking principles so keep on watching my opponent opens with the move d3 looking for a fianchetto here and i would like to do the same so an asymmetrical opening position and instead of fianchettoing my opponent goes for c3 and i develop my bishop here trying already to get a hold on this nice diagonal although it's being blocked by the pawns at this point and my opponent even enforces the hold of this center square and i need to act in some way because if my opponent managed to push the c pawn even further yeah then my bishop is basically blocked in and needs to retreat so then the best is often to counter attack the center that's what i'm doing with my pawn and my opponent needs to choose here there's a lot of things to do you can take like this but then probably i'll take and after queen trade we have this position which looks a bit dryish you could also take like this but i think this looks quite strong as i do have some attack here and if you take then my knight gets quite active and you know, a trade of queens would likely not be favorable for my opponent, as his king is already completely boxed out of the game. And then the third option is to take over here, but I think this leaves a lot of room to get an attack on this pawn sooner or later. And for example, after takes, takes, and a queen trade, yeah, I already have a strong hold on this a2 pawn. So I think my opponent played a very good alternative move, bishop to b2 just waiting and see what i'm planning to do strong move and it's not very straightforward and what i did i took here but after taking back look at this my opponent still has three pawns over to over here and is threatening to go here so what i try to do is again attack my opponent's strong center pawns and he should have gone here because if it takes takes well i can trade queens but look at this my knight cannot go anywhere and my bishop is very weak as well so probably i should have just taken here and yeah two pawns for the knight should definitely be a draw so i think this would have been the right option for me instead my opponent took here with a pawn which is kind of fine but this gives me a check and my queen gets activated but my opponent does have a good counterattack, and that is pushing the bishop over here. You cannot really get the knight in between, right? Because then this would simply pick up the knight. But the bishop in between is good. It attacks my queen, and I go back. And look at this position. My opponent's king is quite weak. There is no defending pawns. Only this pawn. And it is weak. Only defended by the queen. So that's something I have to keep in mind. It's a bit unclear what my opponent should do. Because you cannot really go here. Because then this pawn falls. And instead my opponent went for this move. Trying to progress even further. But it does allow my knight to go here. As soon as this pawn is gone and this is a target for me right away and i think in this position i can already win a pawn immediately by force so i'm not sure about the move before but do you see how i can win the pawn yes d4 if you go here well then there's a check and the queen has to come between otherwise i pick up the bishop and at least i have a pawn extra here and maybe i would have even played this move to develop my knight and if it trades here then my knight is active so this probably would have been the best move picking up this pawn as well so my opponent decided to go here but then there's another pawn hanging so this is the pawn i'm winning and look at this now this king is super weak it can't escape anywhere because it's blocked by its own pieces and there's not much my opponent can do and i'm not gonna give away the plan i have in mind here because i'm gonna ask you to find it in a bit but look for a way for white to play here. I don't think it's very easy. And I'm very curious to hear in the comments what you think is a good move for my opponent in this position. My opponent decided to go a3. And I think it's a very slow move. While your king's position is already very weak. And how can I make use of this? Well, now you're thinking, okay, what if I can get my queen on this square? Well, then I will take it. But if I get a queen on this square, then I give a check. And something has to get in between if the bishop gets in between i can take the bishop with a check and then still the queen has to come in between and i can take the queen and the same is true if i get my queen here and the queen goes in between i can pick it up right away so then i'm thinking how do i get my queen here well there's one move or two moves actually but i played my queen here 
maybe because at some point i don't know there's also an option to infiltrate here but i think these two moves are equally good i'm threatening to go here and do you see a way for white to defend here i think it's very tough if it's possible at all my opponent played bishop to c1 and do you see a checkmate in two on the board check well if queen in between then it's a checkmate but after this check the king can also go here and what now this square is protected by the queen do you see a checkmate in one well then we look at squares that are not defended all squares are being attacked i only need to give a check and do you see a way i can give a check yes this knight hasn't done anything and will be the star of the game with a beautiful checkmate and i win this game don't forget to like subscribe and see you during my next analysis bye bye